Tonight, our look into the cold case of the Oakland County child killer takes us on a road trip to North Fox Island in northern Michigan. Police were investigating a child pornography ring on the island back in 1977. Now, just months after three Oakland County children were killed and just weeks before another, Timothy King was abducted. The pornography operation was run by a man with ties to Metro Detroit, and police were anxious to find out if he was involved in those serial killings. Kevin Dietz joins us now with more on that. Kevin. Yeah, one theory in the Oakland County child killer case is that it was part of a group of wealthy pedophiles who were trafficking in child pornography and groomed underage kids who became victims. A massive investigation led to two people, Frank Sheldon of Gross Point, who owned much of North Fox Island, and Jerry Richards, a teacher in Port Huron who recruited young boys to fly to the island on field trips. Francis Sheldon was uh, born into wealth and prominence. His father was a real estate developer um, who built Rosedale Park and Gross Point Farms, I believe. His family was very wealthy um, and owned major properties in the city of Detroit. He had property on North Fox Island and we accessed the information about him through the school teacher that was arrested by the detective sergeant St. Clair. He would fly friends and males that were interested in interacting to his property on North Fox Island. Had a filming operation there and had you know, horrible, horrible things. Frank Sheldon was introduced to us as Mr. Richard's uncle. This is my uncle Frank. So, oh, okay, well, this is Frank, and Frank owns the island and whatever, and we're, you know, so. I remember getting on the plane, I was so excited. Uh, me and Mike, and there's two other kids, I think one was a, a grade above us, and one was a grade below us, if I remember correctly. And I remember landing, I remember getting our stuff, getting our cabin, and, you know, within an hour, we were naked on the beach. That's just how it was. If you live on an island, this is how they do it, an island, so. And there's cameras, you know, a lot all over the place, really. It's just because of the trust and innocence that children have, and for someone to steal that away from them, you're basically taking part of their life away, and it's not fair. I was angry at the school, because how could you hire this man and bring him into our school? You know, so a lot of mixed emotions. I'm not afraid to, to tell the story now. Even as a grown man, you know, you got that little boy inside you that doesn't want to tell anybody. Um, but that little boy died a long time ago. Sheldon fled the country and was never prosecuted. Richards was prosecuted for child pornography and has since died. Investigators do not believe they are the Oakland County child killers, but they do believe the killer could be someone they victimized. You'll see how it all connects as our investigation continues. Those interviews Incredible. are so chilling, especially yeah. when he says that little boy died. Yeah, it's so, yeah. so hard. This affected so many people for so many years. Yeah. All right, thank you, Kevin, and we do need to remind you, as you mentioned, tonight at 10, our primetime special on this unsolved mystery featuring never-before-seen video and new interviews. That's tonight at 10 o'clock right here on Local 4.